Now let's see the topic called parabola with an introduction of what exactly is a parabola. So now that we have discussed about circle, the next concept which we're going to discuss is about parabola. But before we discuss about parabola, we need to take the most important concept from which the circle, the parabola or the ellipse or the hyperbola or the different types of two dimensional structures are obtained through the conic sections. So the topic here is conic sections. So here with the conic sections, let's see how the different types of two dimensional circle or a parabola etc are obtained. So initially I take a cone So we all know that it's a three-dimensional cone which I have taken here. So let's see the conic sections of the different types of structures or the shapes which are obtained through various types of cutting of the cone. Suppose I take this cone and I cut it exactly out here perpendicular to the base of the cone. So if I slice the cone perpendicularly to the base of the cone then I get a circle. That's how I understand a circle through the understanding of a conic section. So here, when I just cut it, I just have this cut in the form like this. We get a frustrum out here. So this makes me understand that when I cut it exactly perpendicular, the base here is a circle which I obtain. So circle is indirectly said to be obtained through the perpendicular cutting of a cone through the base. That is the conic section of the cone which is perpendicularly cut out here gives me a circle. Similarly, we have the other type of conic section through which I get a parabola. So let's see what kind of cutting of a cone in what angle of cutting of a cone I get. A parabola. The conic section of obtaining a parabola is how we get the method here. So let's see how we get a parabola from the conic section. Now again we have a cone through which let's see how I get a hyperbola or a parabola through the conic section in a different cutting through an angle. So in initial case I have seen that when I cut the cone perpendicularly to the base then I get a circle then what happens if I don't cut that perpendicularly that is if I slice it somewhere out here so in this case of slicing I get a hyperbola through which a parabola through which it comes like this so a parabola which is generally u-shaped is what I get when I slice it in some other angle out here. Is what is the parabola. When this is cut across the angle, then I get the parabola. So parabola is the conic section of the cone which is cut other than at 90 degrees to the base of the cone. So this is the shape which I obtain in case of a cone. And next, when I take a double cone out here, then in this case, if I just cut it twice, say I just slice it on, then I get a hyperbola which is in the shape of this. With respect to the axis, I get a slice on the top and I get a slice on the bottom through which I get a hyperbola, which we're going to see in the later part of discussing the conic section of the hyperbola. So if I have a cone where I have been cutting the cone perpendicular to the base, I get a circle. What if I cut this other than perpendicular or other than 90 degrees? You suppose I cut this slantingly 
then what would be the shape I obtain here? In this case, when this is sliced, I get this to be somewhat like this. So this is cut in a slice where I get the shape which is called an egg-shaped structure which is an ellipse. So an ellipse is an oval shape and it is obtained when I cut the cone other than at 90 degrees in this manner. Now let's define a conic. Suppose I have the axis and the directrix and I have a fixed point S and a point here which is P and M is the perpendicular distance from P to the directrix. Then in this case the locus of all the points such that the distance from S to P by the distance from P to M are in constant ratio that is if I have SP by PM is always E a constant then the locus of all those points is called the conic implies locus of PXY is a conic under the condition SP by PM is equal to E and here we identify that S is the focus of the conic and here S the fixed point S is called the focus which we generally denoted by S is called the focus and the fixed straight line is called the directrix and the ratio SP by PM equal to E is called eccentricity. So here E is referred as eccentricity and it is given by the formula SP by PM and S is the focus and here this is the direct trace. This is how we understand each part of the conic. And the straight line passing through focus and perpendicular to direct trace is axis because this is perpendicular to direct trace and passing through focus S is how we get the properties of axis and directories connected with the conic.